I've been looking for content on YouTube regarding one controller running two motors and I got some real conflicting stuff a couple people that appear to be electrical engineers and whatnot are saying on paper you can't do it and I'm thinking to myself why not if you have two identical motors and they're wired parallel connected to one connector into your a Julet connector you know into the box into the controller there's no reason it shouldn't work these are not even connected with Hall I'm using simply the phase wires on both both of them and I'll tell you just had it going a minute ago um, it flies my other homemade scooter I'm running a 64 volt battery uh, when I charge it all the way up it's like a just over 70 and that thing it's on a 500 watt controller putting out I think 30 amps on one 500 watt motor yeah and the only thing I'm 250 pounds and no no shit I got that scooter the other day on flat ground up to 45 miles an hour I was racing a, a road bike guy that had a really well calibrated speedometer on his handlebars and I passed him and passed two bikers two guys on road bikes one of them stepped it up and passed me he was probably going 50 55 he was really really doing it but while we were pacing each other i asked him how fast am i going and he told me 45 which blew me away because you know your typical lime your typical bird scooters they're good for 20 25 you know your, your typical one motor scooters and I'm double that, which is amazing. I'm 250 pounds. Imagine somebody 130 pounds on that damn thing. I know they'd get it up to 50 easily. I didn't really max it out. The other scooter I'm telling you about that's running one motor, my own, my problem with that one is from a dead stop when there's a big load on the motor, it does this it's just like this it doesn't it's another identical motor and it doesn't have hall sensors and it does what i call clipping what happens is the controller as i hit the accelerator it sends out the the sine waves that are ramping up real quick da -da 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 -da. well my fat ass on that wheel on the ground the wheel is not keeping up with the sine waves that's being fed to it and so what's happening there is the wheel is not in the position that it's supposed to be to receive that sine wave hitting it. And what it does is it kind of, it hesitates in clips. I call it clipping like you would with subwoofers or with a class D amp. Um, I don't know what the technical term for that is. I'm going to find out. I haven't really spoken with anybody who's knowledgeable, but I hope you kind of get the idea of the gist of what I'm saying there. The motor is not able to speed up to what the controller is putting out. Now, think about this. If it was hall connected, it wouldn't be doing that because the signal that comes off of each motor via hall wires tells us exactly where it is. Boom, 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 position, and it won't do that clipping. It'll only ramp up as fast as the wheel is turning off of its actual um you know a degree of turn on the on its axis but anyway i'm telling you these are this one here's a 1500 watt controller and it's like a 45 amp yeah i got it on on amazon for i opened it up it's like 12 mosfets in there got it for 25 bucks and it's this model has only been out i read all the um data on the on the specs and it's only been going out here for a couple of years maybe a year or so it's a pretty new product so simple to connect these things all you need is your accelerator it has to be hall on these brushless controllers you have to have a hall throttle connected to the three wires then you need your three phase wires which are those three and then basically red and black these two here red and black are your battery feed this particular um, controller is only 48 volt. Yeah, you got red and black feeding those to the battery, and then what turns you on 
is this thin red wire touching the red positive all of a sudden it's energized and it's ready to go that's all you need now if you want to mess around with okay one more thing i did is the speed on this one this is your three speed the way that i have a little um jumper wire in there you can't see it it's under the tape just to secure it connecting blue to black that's considered high if you unplug this it'll be on medium i think and if you connect brown to black you're going to be slow on the lowest setting which would probably still be pretty fast um all this other stuff's alarm and high break low break whatever but uh it's pretty amazing yeah just to sum everything up what i'm saying here is it is possible to run one controller two motors yet they have to be identical um i'm not done mounting this and stuff then and my valve stem popped out on this one here so what i need to do is go in uh i need to buy a new valve stem and put it in there and then my it's a tubeless um i'm going to use this metal here basically it's going to come across here and it's going to it's going to be c-shaped it's going to come around it's going to support these and these and i might even use a couple of these heavy pieces of what are those 316s or something a little more i'm going to cut these out maybe or even add this in there next to it and really beef the weld up i got a 220 welder that it's dc that works it's a cheap one from amazon but it works great on 220 volts should i do it right here in my bedroom to tell you the truth this is kind of people are going to laugh at me for this but you know i'm the kind of person that loves to do stuff um electronic projects and stuff and i sit around here and got good ventilation to pull it out and stay cool in this damn heat but i got so many darn parts for scooter stuff and i've just been messing around having a good time here <laughs> nobody really comes to visit me and i got three vacuums and a shampoo or clean this stuff up but i don't leave it like this i'm just done for the day wanted to make this video real quick but uh yeah this is pretty amazing i'm gonna this is the stance that i'm gonna have i'm not gonna have them any wider the two tires are identical so we're gonna roll just fine i was thinking of building a whole swing arm in the back that would had a pivot point here that would rotate so the two wheels would stay planted constantly and when i turn a corner the frame itself can flex and this pivot joint here will just pivot turn and leave those two wheels on the ground i don't think i'm really going to go real fast this is just like a straight line little quarter mile thing uh i'm not trying to hurt myself i, I hurt myself real bad last year with a punctured lung and four broken ribs on a gas powered bike i built i'm not trying to do all that again but you know what i really enjoy this kind of stuff and it's fun and i'm slowly my stuff's coming out a little better every time now um i used to have some real janky looking stuff and it's still not that great but you know what i'm working on a shoestring here budget wise i probably got 30 bucks in this whole thing here motors were given to me controller got a brand new and i've got bought a couple other scooters old um bird scooters from a guy who buys them from a um impound yard he gave them to me for a deal because i think they were submerged in water but shoot a lot of the components are still good and uh it's amazing you know if you want to make something <laughs> no reason you can't so all right